Hi guys, how you doing? Mr. Chown here. Today we have got a fractions lesson to do at home. We are going to be looking at fractions, we are going to be looking at decimals, and we are going to be looking at percentages. Just a reminder, this funny number at the top here, that's the numerator. That's how many you've got of a certain colour of something or a certain amount of something. And this number at the bottom is our denominator. That's how many you've got overall. Remember, if you did a spelling test and you had five spellings and you got three right, then your fraction of ones you got right were three fifths or three out of five. So what you might need to do is pause this video a couple of times to get the work done. But I am sure, I am convinced, I am 100% positive you have got this you can do this. What you're going to need today is you need a pencil, a paper, probably a ruler, and you're going to need some sweets. So if you need to pause it and go to mum or dad and say, hey, Mr. Chan says I need some sweets to do this lesson, then you're going to need some Skittles or some Smarties or anything that has a range of colours in the same pack. It could be any kind of sweets. So I'm going to have a bit of fun with this today. We're going to see how we're going to go and we're going to practice our fractions, our decimals, our percentages. But kicking off today, the first main event is going to be we are going to need to count out around 12 sweets you can do more if you want if you want it a bit harder if you want it a bit easier you can do less you know what you're going to do you know how you can do it so and you need to make sure you have a range of different colors but some of them should be the same color so what we're going to do first of all is if you need to pause this and you need to count out your sweets please do so and I will pause for a minute. You can pause, you can come back when you've got your sweets ready. So then, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw out our table. Our table is gonna look like this. We're gonna have the color and we're gonna have the number of sweets. At the bottom, if you wish to do so, you could then have your do do, do your total. And remember, our total is gonna be our denominator, the number at the bottom. The total is gonna be our denominator so what you're going to have is however many sweets you've got is going to be the number you have don't just copy down green five because i've written green five you might have green you might have yellow you might have red you might have pink you might have blue you might have brown it could be any color so write down the colors that you have here then what you're going to do sort them into little piles and write down the number of each one you have really really simple get that going now i'm going to pause for a second Right, so you should have your table. Um, we put all the sweets of the same color together. These will be our numerator. So if you've got 12 sweets in total, and one, two, three, four, five of them are green, then you are going to have five twelfths of your sweets are going to be green. That's five green sweets out of a total of 12 sweets. It might be more, it might be less. You might have a bigger uh, denominator than me. That is entirely up to you how you do it. So let's move on. Let's see how we're going. If you need to pause to write out your fractions, and that's fine. Um, I'll pause for a second and get you writing those out. Once we have all of our fractions written down, we can start to work out what they would be as decimals and percentages. It is quite easy, but you do need to follow these simple steps. And remember, you can pause the video, you can rewind the video whenever you want to do so. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to go with what I had before. Five of my 12 sweets or five twelfths of my sweets are green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn your fractional, fraction, fractional, oh dear, your fraction <laughs> into a decimal and then your decimal into a percentage. Tricky? Yes. Impossible? No. I have faith you can do this. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are not finding out how many fives are in 12, but we want to find out how many 12s are in five. Now to do that, we do five divided by 12, but we put our decimal point here. Now don't worry, I only want you to do it to two decimal points. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. That's impossible, I hear you say. Nah. So how many 12s are there in five? There's none. You can't fit 12 into five. So what I'm gonna do is say, how many are there? There are zero. But what I now need to do is, I now need to figure out how many I've got left over. Well, my leftover amount here is going to be five. It's 
So I'm writing my five there. It's messy. I'm using my mouse. I apologize, but you can see that's a five. So now we've got to figure out how many 12s are in 50. Well, that's an easy one. There's four. And now we've got two left over because we figure out how many 12s are in 50. We go to 48 and then we've got two left over. So the two goes to here. Now I've got to figure out how many 12s are in 20. Well, I do my 12 times tables. I go 12, 24 is too many. So there's one. So that means we've got how many 12s are there in five? 0 0.41. We can do that. You can do that. If you need to look at it again, have a look at it again. But we can stop there. Now we figured out that five twelfths of our sweets are green or 0 0.41 as a decimal. That's pretty good. You're doing well. Now I want you to work that out for the rest of them as well. And remember, you may not have five twelfths, you may have three twelfths. That might be slightly easier. You never know. If you can work out what three twelfths is as an equivalent fraction, maybe you can straight away tell me what that would be as a decimal. All that's left now is, if we want to, we need to then work out the percentage. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to move my decimal place. I'm going to times it by 100 to work it out as a percentage because percent is out of 100. And I go one, two, and that works us out 0 0.41 multiply it by 100 and I get 41 percent now can you do that with all of them I reckon you can have you enjoyed having some sweets well you've not eaten them yet but if you want a bit of a challenge then or if your parents want you to have a bit more of a challenge and a bit more work to do then you can eat some of the sweets maybe eat three maybe four and then you can go over the whole process again. If I had 12 sweets and I had five of them, five out of my 12 were green, then maybe I'm going to eat one sweet, maybe eat one green sweet, and I may eat a few more of the other ones. Maybe I'm going to eat three sweets in total. But if one of them was green, that means my green sweets goes down to four and my total sweets goes to nine. I hope you enjoyed this. I've enjoyed making it. Please remember to stay safe. If you want to have a look at this presentation, at this slideshow, you can do in the comments or in, sorry, in the um, down below. Um, you can click down at the description and it will give you a link where you can look at this online, where you can download it if you want to do so. Please, kids, stay safe. And please remember to keep washing your hands. See you later, guys. Bye.